All right, JT. So we got a big race coming up tomorrow. Are you excited? I am. Yes. How many? So this is the pesky piranha. How many times have we done this? Do you remember? I think it was three. You've done it three times. So this is 2024. So you've done it 23, 22, and 21. I think so. I think so too. I'm, I'm thinking though, there's a possibility that you that we missed one of these, maybe. But I may be wrong. Anyway, so is this one of your favorite races you've ever done? Yes. Yeah. Tell me why. Because it actually still is in Alabama, and the other one that I really like, and it's my favorite, it she doesn't do it anymore. And Pesky Piranha, it's really good because it goes backwards, where it's run, bike, swim, and at the end, when you get in the pool, so you can cool down. Yeah. So what? All right. So the run, bike, swim. It's not a swim, bike, run. So what's your favorite part of this race? Is it the swim, the cool down, like you just said? It's actually not. It's not? It's, my favorite part is the biking because it's my fastest one. Yeah. All right. So like when you get through running and now it's time to get on the bike, you're like, I'm ready to go or... How, tell me how that feels. So you just got through running and you're about to get on the bike. How does that feel? I, at first, I feel like I'm super tired. But then after I get on the bike, I feel like, yeah, let's beat everyone. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It probably takes a few minutes, actually, after you start riding before you start feeling really good. Or do you feel good immediately? Uh, Not immediately, but like you said. Uh, it does take a little while. All right. Well, I'm excited to see you doing this tomorrow. I'm, I, the bike is always fun for me. It's one of my favorite parts when I get, I race. It hurts, but it feels good too. I like the wind going through my hair. <laughs> you don't like, have any hair. What are you talking about? <laughs> Maybe I've been going so fast it blew it all off. I don't know, but yeah, that's my favorite part too. The swim's fun too, especially yours. It's in a pool, and you you just you don't really. It's not really that far. Is it hard at all? The swimming. Um, a little bit because I've done all that other stuff and it, and it, I've gone like double the amount of speed that I normally go and it makes me kind of tired. When okay. I get cool. Well, it's kind of, it's always what, is it 50 yards or 75 yards you have to swim? It is 75 yards. That's, is that far at all? No, it's not even a 100 yard. Do you feel like you have to pace yourself for 75 yards? No. So you can just go all out, right? Yeah. All right, so what, I'm looking forward to that. And everybody that watches the video, that I'll, I'll have a camera there, GoPro going on him during his race, watch him just take off like a speedboat. You're just going to go as fast as you can? Yeah. I uh, like it. I'm excited about that. All right, so this is what I want to do. So I am going to – I want to. I want to look at – um last year's video all right and um let's just see what it's like for you in the race can you see the can you can you see the videos i can okay so if you look right here you'll notice we have one from 2022 okay and 2023 um i don't see one from 2021 so maybe you've only done this twice We've got all the records and stuff like that. Which one do you think will be more fun to watch, 2022 or 2023? Um, 2022. Let's do all right. So this is two years ago. and All right, we just got our first packet pickup of your first triathlon. This is awesome. There it is. Let's go. <laughs> all right, so show us what's in it. I want to see what's inside there. Ooh, what's the first thing he got? What's the first thing he got? Yes, sir. Oh, it looks like you got something green in there. Maybe a T-shirt. Let's see. Boom! Pull this out, Mama. Let's see the T-shirt. Oh, I'm going to the T-shirt for it. I want to see it. Let's see. There's the front of it. So this is the Arana Youth Triathlon. What's the back look like? Wait. First, can I see what it looks like on me? Yeah, I'll put it on you. Let's just, let's, I want to see what everything else is. All right. All the sponsors. It's green. That's your favorite color. <laughs> Who is that little kid? It's me. <laughs> do you still have that shirt? I do. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, let's put some more. Looks good on you. Let's see what else we got. 
Hey, your oh, haircut's kind of the same. Number yeah. 40. Yeah, going to be number well, if we 40. we still have that. Awesome. What else we got? Right there. We have it somewhere. Come on. Come on. Give us something good. Give us something good. It is Fleet Feet. $5 a off a pair of socks. Coupon. We're going to get some socks hey. and some pins. All right. All right. So I'm, I'm going to fast forward. And awesome. what do you think? Are you excited? This is pulling up. using JT my white bike it's yeah that is yeah see right. you're not racing with that bike anymore did you use that one last year you think uh, no I don't think I, you did either I I watched that video of the pesky piranha uh, today this morning from last year and I used my red bike Okay, so we'll have to show that one off in a minute. So th this may be, I tell you, your red track bike, that may be the last year you're going to race on it. <laughs> How does oh, that make no. you feel? A sad <laughs> <laughs> No, it's going to get bigger and better. It's going to be good. All right, let's, let's get into the race here. We got to, look, we're getting all your stuff on you. Oh, let's just look at it. It's not that long. Aaron, I like it. There you are. Boom. All right, do you remember this? How did you do in this race? Do you remember? Um, I don't remember what place I got, but I I think I did pretty good. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I think you did. You were like top three, four, maybe. I'm not sure, but yeah, that was your, was this maybe your first race you ever did? That's what it said in the video. I know it's your first pesky piranha, but was it your first race ever? I think so. I don't know. All right. Let's watch some more of it. Racing. Oh, those girls are fast, weren't they? All right, here's you. Lining up to go to lunch or PE or something like that. So how'd you feel? You lined up next to all these kids you didn't know, that? ready to race. How'd it make you feel? Were you nervous? No. You weren't nervous at all? No. You looked a little bit nervous. I want you to know that. You did. You looked a little bit nervous. All right, and then all of a sudden the lady told y'all to begin to run. There what happened? Go. I just took off, and there was one boy ahead of me first. And nice dog, so buddy. When I first started running, and you took off, didn't you? That is the there's a little bitty boy racing. So <laughs> you were with the little bitty ones then. Go, go, go. And then y'all did y'all turn around after that? Okay, let's get on the bike here. Let's go a little bit further. All right, here you are flying on. Oh, you got on the bike. You ran it back in and you put it oh, up. We did a little interview. And then I could just swing. Like, crystal clear, but it Chemical. Right, there's a question there. Everybody wants to know. There you are on a Holly Pop. Eat an ice cream, do a triathlon. Yeah. I think uh, that that right there, right. Let me show you. That may be your favorite reason why you like doing these triathlons. Yeah. Is that, what, is that it? <laughs> Anyways, I'm excited. All right, let's let's take a time and let's look at the one you did last year. Now, just a little bit. So here is one year ago. Look at you, looking good. All right, there's the new bike. What do you want to say about your new bike, bud? Talk about it for a minute. I really like it. It's my fastest bike other than that one bike that's right above me and that I just got from my grandmother's house. And it's a size up. 
do you like the gears how the gears work because i know we changed them out you did have the type where you turned like this yeah okay and then we we changed that where you're using the thumb and the finger all right it's called i think they're called rapid fire gears do you like those better yes why do you like them better um because um they're the other thing where you do this they're kind of harder to change the gears with Oh, I do remember that. That's right. They were really stiff. And you had to just really er, er, grind it out. Yep. Oh. And I see in this uh, little pitcher thing that it has the rapid fire ones. Okay. Good deal. I, I like the rapid fire myself. Let's look at some more of the video. Let's go up here. Let's see what we got. Let's see the pictures. Okay, ready, ready, ready. All right. Here it goes. Yeah. Right here on the You're over here on the far right. There you are, all the muscles popping out. All right, look. There's the kid we got to beat this year. I think he is the one that's won it the past two years. I remember this kid. Do you remember him? I do. He oh, yeah, so he's the one, I guess, if you want to pace off of. I want to say he uses a road bike. Last year, he used a road bike. So that might be a little bit tough to keep up with, but you're pretty tough, so you might be able to handle that. And but I remember he didn't swim very well, if I remember right. And he's the person that went to the pesky piranha and got third place and i beat him okay well there's your competition right there that's the that would be the person to line up next to and try to race with but anyways just do your own thing do you have a plan going into this race my plan is to win <laughs> your plan is to win yeah I'm gonna just let this one run, and just we'll just look at it and talk. We can talk over it. So, but when you said you're gonna to plan to win, so you're gonna start on the run. What's your plan during the run? You're gonna go all out. Are you gonna pace yourself? It's a half a mile. What Since do you think? It's a little longer than last year. I want to pace myself. So, what if nobody else is pacing themselves, and you end up in the back? Is that good or bad? Um. I would think good because they go all out on the first part and um, I get to pass them up at the end. Okay. Well, I, here's my advice. Don't get too far back. Yeah. I think if the, the late, the farthest back you should be is where you should still be able to see first place. Okay. If you can see the people that you, that are in front of you, then you have more of a chance of actually pulling them back in and passing them up. Okay. But if you can't see them, you don't know how far away they are from you. No. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Well, that's something. That's what. I, that's something I like to think about when I I do my racing. But you do you. You do whatever you need to do. So that'll be good. Because so I think that's what you did last year. It looks like you're going to be in the, about the middle of the pack, and you lost touch with the the people that were in the very beginning. I think that's what happened. Oh. I don't know. Because they, they were flying on that run. There you are. Yeah, you're you're probably about seventh, eighth, ninth place there. Taking off. I like it. A little more effort into the run, then maybe you have a bigger chance to uh, catch up in your best sport, which is the biking, I, I would think. Yeah. All right. Anyways, you're going through transition here. All right. So you just finished your run. This, all right. Now. What are you going to think about when you get to the bike? What, what's your plan when you get to the bike? Um, I'm going to do like my fly try coach told me to do. Put the helmet where it's backwards and upside down. So you just pick it up and put it on. And then have my red bike on the kickstands instead of hanging up. So I can get it down quicker. Okay. All right. That's nothing wrong with that. I'll, I'll throw this out. You might want to just go ahead and get used to not having a kickstand because I'm going to think probably your next bike and every bike you have after that, it won't have a kickstand, especially if it's a racing bike because 
the kickstand just gives it more weight. Yeah, see that kid passing you right there? He's a little bit older. That's probably your next level bike. Like you'll probably end up with that bike or something like that next year. Okay. That could be cool. But yeah, he passed you up. It looked like you're about to catch him there. Mm -hmm. All right. So you just did, a, is it a mile on the bike? Is that all it is? Yes, it's a mile. Not that far. Here we go. He's practicing. He's getting off, off the bike, isn't he? I have to. Yeah. All right. We may go practice a little bit here in a minute. And, uh, all right, so do a good job of getting off that bike and then transition into that swim. It'll be good. I'm excited for you. Thank you. Um, are you excited about this race? Yes. Okay. There you go, are coming in. That's last year flying. I think you skid your tires right there. You sure did. <laughs> I think that's where I messed up my tires the most. Yeah, you did. You took off some of the rubber off your tire last year. Still there. <laughs> That was fun. And then here you go, hammering out the swim. I think you could really just – maybe you might be able to chance, have a chance to pass one or two, but most of your passing is going to take place in the run or in at the run – at the uh, – excuse me, the biking. Yeah. So you really finish strong with the swim. You may not pass too many. And right there coming off that wall, so you go one length and then you got to do another and then one more. Who's in the front right now in that video? That's some other kid. I'm not sure who that is right there. Oh. He's he's getting it. You're kind of maybe going to catch him a little bit. He looks like a decent swimmer. You're a better swimmer now than you were last year. You are a lot faster. You were pretty fast last year. So you saw him go over the rope? Just go under that rope. You don't have to go over it. Go under and take off, shoot off that wall. You can actually shoot off the wall and go under the rope at the same time. Yeah, you're, you're actually catching him right, right there. You're at about the same distance. Anyways, so that's going to be exciting. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this a little bit. If anybody wants to watch the, the rest of this, they can just go click on some of those other videos. We'll have to find 2024 Pesky Piranha. That's cool. All right. So, JT. Anything else you want to share with everybody about your race? I'm really excited to do it. Well, I think – go ahead. Here. Uh, you want, uh, this, I think we're all excited about it, too. This is one of our favorite times of the year, seeing you racing. I'm really – I'm kind of disappointed that we don't get to do the fly try. Me, too. I'm really disappointed. That was a cool race. It really was. So a shout out to what was the coach's name that put that on? Miss Dana. Miss Dana, we missed the fly try. We'll miss you doing that. Hopefully you get to see this video. And uh, JT, if you, if she does watch the video, what would you want to say to Miss Dana? Please bring the fly try back. <laughs> well, I think she's moving. She I is. So I don't think she's going to be able to, able to do it. Anymore. What if she brings it back in where she moves? Well, if she does, we need to find out, and then we'll have to make a road trip and get on up there, wherever she's at. I think she's went to Michigan or something like that. I'm not really sure. But thank you, Miss Dana. You helped JT. You inspired us all to be involved with triathlon or get involved with triathlon a little bit more. And, and anyways, so everybody that's watching the video, what would you like to tell them? Anything you want to say to the people that's going to watch this video? Oh, um, buy a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, so we have a, a YouTube channel. I hope you've been watching some of this, and you can go back and see triathlons. What what else is on there, JT? Uh, geocaching. A little bit of geocaching. It's just a, a channel full of adventurous things. All types of things, and fishing. it's not all racing. What did you say? Fishing. It has some fishing on there. It has a lot of hiking, a lot of running, a lot of biking, a lot of places that we've gone. What's some of your favorite places we've gone? It's in the videos. Georgia and yeah. Beach Mountain and yeah. Jackson Hole. There's some good stuff on there. 
Anyways, we, everybody, thank you for watching, and we will see y'all on the next adventure. Bye. Now the marshmallows. Bye again. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. We'll see you at the triathlon. Bye. <laughs>